The Australian National University is a national research university located in Canberra, the capital of Australia. Its main campus in Acton encompasses seven teaching and research colleges, in addition to several national academies and institutes. Founded in 1946, it is the only university to have been created by the Parliament of Australia. Originally a postgraduate research university, ANU commenced undergraduate teaching in 1960 when it integrated the Canberra University College, which had been established in 1929 as a campus of the University of Melbourne. ANU enrolls 10,052 undergraduate and 10,840 postgraduate students and employs 3,753 staff. The university's endowment stood at $1.13 billion in 2012. ANU is ranked first in Australia and the whole of Oceania, 24th in the world by the 2019 QS World University Rankings, and 49th in the world second in Australia by the 2019 Times Higher Education. ANU was named the world's seventh first in Australia most international university in a 2017 study by Times Higher Education. In the 2017 Times Higher Education Global Employability University Ranking, an annual ranking of university graduates' employability, ANU was ranked 21st in the world first in Australia. ANU is ranked 100th first in Australia in the CWTS Leiden Ranking. A new press online has the updated release of ANU's scholarly publications. The university is particularly well known for its programs in the arts and social sciences, and ranks among the best in the world for a number of disciplines including politics and international relations, social policy, and geography. A new counts six Nobel laureates and 49 Rhodes Scholars among its faculty and alumni. The university has educated two prime ministers, 30 current Australian ambassadors and more than a dozen current heads of government departments of Australia. History Post-war origins Calls for the establishment of a national university in Australia began as early as 1900. After the location of the nation's capital, Canberra, was determined in 1908, land was set aside for the university at the foot of Black Mountain in the city designs by Walter Burley Griffin. Planning for the university was disrupted by World War II but resumed with the creation of the Department of Post-War Reconstruction in 1942, ultimately leading to the passage of the Australian National University Act 1946 by the Chifley government on 1 August 1946. A group of eminent Australian scholars returned from overseas to join the university, including Sir Howard Florey, co-developer of medicinal penicillin, Sir Mark Oliphant, a nuclear physicist who worked on the Manhattan Project, Sir Keith Hancock, the Chichell Professor of Economic History at Oxford, and Sir Raymond Firth, a professor of anthropology at LSE. Economist Sir Douglas Copeland was appointed as ANU's first vice chancellor, and former Prime Minister Stanley Bruce served as the first chancellor. ANU was originally organized into four centers the Research Schools of Physical Sciences, Social Sciences and Pacific Studies, and the John Curtin School of Medical Research. The first residences hall, University House, was opened in 1954 for faculty members and postgraduate students. Mount Stromlo Observatory, established by the federal government in 1924, became part of ANU in 1957. The first locations of the ANU Library, the Menzies and Chifley Buildings, opened in 1963. The Australian Forestry School, located in Canberra since 1927, was amalgamated by ANU in 1965. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Canberra University College. Canberra University College was the first institution of higher education in the national capital, having been established in 1929 and enrolling its first undergraduate pupils in 1930. Its founding was led by Sir Robert Guerin, one of the drafters of the Australian Constitution and the first Solicitor General of Australia. Cuck was affiliated with the University of Melbourne and its degrees were granted by that university. Academic leaders at Cuck included historian Manning Clark, political scientist Finlay Crisp, poet A. D. Hope, and economist Heinz Arndt. In 1960, Cuck was integrated into ANU as the School of General Studies, initially with faculties in arts, economics, law, and science. 
Faculties in Oriental Studies and Engineering were introduced later. Bruce Hall, the first residential college for undergraduates, opened in 1961. Modern era The Canberra School of Music and the Canberra School of Art combined in 1988 to form the Canberra Institute of the Arts, and amalgamated with the university as the Anu Institute of the Arts in 1992. Anu established its medical school in 2002, after obtaining federal government approval in 2000. On 18 January 2003, the Canberra bushfires largely destroyed the Mount Stromlo Observatory. A new astronomers now conduct research from the Siding Spring Observatory, which contains 10 telescopes including the Anglo-Australian Telescope. In February 2013, financial entrepreneur and a new graduate Graham Tuckwell made the largest university donation in Australian history by giving $50 million to fund an undergraduate scholarship program at Anu. Anu is well known for its history of student activism and, in recent years, its fossil fuel divestment campaign, which is one of the longest running and most successful in the country. The decision of the Anu Council to divest from two fossil fuel companies in 2014 was criticized by ministers in the Abbott government, but defended by Vice Chancellor Ian Young, who noted, on divestment, it is clear we were in the right and played a truly national and international leadership role. W.E. seem to have played a major role in a movement which now seems unstoppable. As of 2014 Anu still had investments in major fossil fuel companies. A survey conducted by the Australian Human Rights Commission in 2017 found that the Anu had the second highest incidence of sexual assault and sexual harassment. 3.5% of respondents from the Anu reported being sexually assaulted in 2016. Vice Chancellor Brian Schmidt apologized to victims of sexual assault and harassment. In recent years, the ANU has come under pressure with funding and staff cuts in the School of Music in 2011 to 15 and in the School of Culture, History and Language in 2016. However, there is a range of global governmental endowments available for arts and social sciences, designated only for ANU. Some courses are now delivered online. Topic. Campus The main campus of Anu extends across the Canberra suburb of Acton, which consists of 358 acres square kilometers of mostly parkland with university buildings landscaped within. Anu is roughly bisected by Sullivan's Creek, part of the Murray-Darling Basin, and is bordered by the native bushland of Black Mountain, Lake Burley Griffin, the suburb of Turner and the Canberra Central Business District. Many university sites are of historical significance dating from the establishment of the national capital, with over 40 buildings recognized by the Commonwealth Heritage List and several others on local lists, with over 10,000 trees on its campus. Anu won an International Sustainable Campus Network Award in 2009 and was ranked the second greenest university campus in Australia in 2011. Four of Australia's five learned societies are based at Anu. The Australian Academy of Science, the Australian Academy of the Humanities, the Academy of the Social Sciences in Australia and the Australian Academy of Law. The Australian National Centre for the Public Awareness of Science and the National Film and Sound Archive are also located at Anu, while the National Museum of Australia and CSIRO are situated next to the campus. Anu occupies additional locations including Mount Stromlo Observatory on the outskirts of Canberra, Siding Spring Observatory near Coonabarabran, a campus at Kealoa on the south coast of New South Wales and a research unit in Darwin. Topic library The Library of Anu originated in 1948 with the appointment of the first librarian, Arthur MacDonald. The library holds over 2.5 million physical volumes distributed across six branches, the Chifley, Menzies, Hancock, Art and Music, and Law Libraries and the External Print Repository. Chifley Library is accessible for a new staff and students 24 hours a day. Topic residential halls and colleges Eight residential facilities are affiliated with Anu, Bruce Hall, Ursula Hall, Bergman College, John XXIII College, Toad Hall, Burton and Guerin Hall, Graduate House and Fenner Hall. All are located on campus except Fenner Hall, which is located in the nearby suburb of Braden. Students also reside in the privately run units adjoining the campus, Davy Lodge, Kinlick Lodge, Warumbal Lodge and Lena Carmel Lodge. 
In 2010, the non-residential Griffin Hall was established for students living off-campus. Another off-campus student accommodation was launched by Unigardens Thai, University Gardens located in Belkanen. Academic structure Colleges <laughs> 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 ANU was reorganized in 2006 to create seven colleges, each college leads both teaching and research. <laughs> Arts and social sciences The ANU College of Arts and Social Sciences is divided into the Research School of Social Sciences RSSS and the Research School of Humanities and the Arts RSHA. Within RSSS there are schools dedicated to history, philosophy, sociology, political science and international relations, Middle Eastern studies and Latin American studies. RSHA contains schools focusing on anthropology, archaeology, classics, art history, English literature, drama, film studies, gender studies, linguistics, European languages as well as an art and music school. In 2017, ANU ranked 6th in the world for politics, 8th in the world for social policy and administration and 11th in the world for development studies. Asia and the Pacific The ANU College of Asia and the Pacific is a specialist center of Asian and Pacific studies and languages, among the largest collections of experts in these fields of any university in the English-speaking world. The college is home to three academic schools, the Crawford School of Public Policy, a research-intensive public policy school, the School of Culture History and Language, the nation's center dedicated to investigating and learning with and about the people, languages, and lands of Asia and the Pacific, and Coral Bell School of Asia-Pacific Affairs, Australia's foremost collection of expertise in the politics and international affairs of Asia and the Pacific. The Strategic and Defense Studies Center is also a component of the college. Peter Drysdale laid the intellectual foundation of APEC. The college also houses the Australian Centre on China in the World CIW, the Regulatory Institutions Network and the CSCAP Australia. Year in Asia programme students with a new GPA 5.0 or above will be able to travel to one Asian country to study for one year to specialise in one Asian language. The college is affiliated with Columbia University's Weatherhead East Asian Institute and Indiana University's Pan-Asia Institute. <laughs> <laughs> Business and economics The ANU College of Business and Economics comprises four research schools, which carries research and teaching in economics, finance, accounting, actuarial studies, statistics, marketing and management. The college is professionally accredited with the Institute of Chartered Accountants, CPA Australia, the Australian Computer Society, the Actuaries Institute Australia, the Institute of Public Accountants, the Association of International Accountants, Chartered Financial Analyst Institute and attains membership of World Wide Web Consortium. Topic engineering and Computer Science The ANU College of Engineering and Computer Science is divided into two research schools, which study a range of engineering and computer science topics respectively. ANU is home to the National Computational Infrastructure National Facility and was a co-founder of NICTA, the Chief Information and Communications Technology Research Centre in Australia. Research groups in a new College of Engineering and Computer Science include Algorithms and Data, Applied Signal Processing, Artificial Intelligence, Center for Sustainable Energy Systems, Computer Systems, Computer Vision and Robotics, Data Intensive Computing, Information and Human Centered Computing, Logic and Computation, Materials and Manufacturing, Semiconductor and Solar Cells, Software Intensive Systems Engineering, Solar Thermal Group, Systems and Control. Disciplinary areas include theories, operations and cutting-edge research that will enhance user experience by integrating ever-evolving information technology methods in engineering applications, with the emphasis on energy source. Law 
The ANU College of Law is covering legal research and teaching, with centers dedicated to commercial law, international law, public law and environmental law. In addition to numerous research programs, the college offers the professional LL.B. and JD degrees. It is the seventh oldest of Australia's 36 law schools and was ranked second among Australian and twelfth among world law schools by the 2018 QS rankings. Students are given the chance to spend three weeks in Geneva concerning the institutional practice of international law. Topic medicine, biology and environment The Anu College of Medicine, Biology and Environment encompasses the John Curtin School of Medical Research JCSMR, the Anu Medical School, the Fenner School of Environment and Society and Research Schools of Biology, Psychology and Population Health. JCSMR was established in 1948 as a result of the vision of Nobel laureate Howard Florey. Three further Nobel Prizes have been won as a result of research at JCSMR, in 1963 by John Eccles and in 1996 by Peter Doherty and Rolf M. Zinkernagel. Topic Physical and Mathematical Sciences The ANU College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences comprises the research schools of astronomy and astrophysics, chemistry, earth sciences, mathematical sciences and physics. Under the direction of Mark Oliphant, nuclear physics was one the university's most notable early research priorities, leading to the construction of a 500 megajoule homopolar generator and a 7.7 megaelectronvolts cyclotron in the 1950s. These devices were to be used as part of a 10.6 gigaelectronvolt synchrotron particle accelerator that was never completed, however they remained in use for other research purposes. ANU has been home to eight particle accelerators over the years and operates the 1-4 UD and Lenis accelerators. Brian Schmidt astrophysicist at Mount Stromlo Observatory received the 2011 Nobel Prize for Physics for his work on the accelerating expansion of the universe. Academics Governance ANU is governed by a 15-member council, whose members include the Chancellor and Vice-Chancellor. Gareth Evans, a former Foreign Minister of Australia, has been a new Chancellor since 2010 and Brian Schmidt, an astrophysicist and Nobel laureate, has served as Vice-Chancellor since 1 January 2016. Finances In its most recent disclosure at the end of 2012, ANU recorded an endowment of $1.13 billion. Rankings ANU was ranked 24th in the world first in Australia by the 2019 QS World University Rankings, and 49th in the world second in Australia by the 2019 Times Higher Education. ANU was named the world's seventh first in Australia most international university in a 2017 study by Times Higher Education. In the 2015 Times Higher Education Global Employability University Ranking, an annual ranking of university graduates' employability, ANU was ranked 32nd in the world first in Australia. ANU was ranked 100th in the world first in Australia in the CWTS Leiden Ranking. In the QS World University Rankings by Subject 2017, ANU was ranked 6th in the world for politics, 8th in the world for social policy and administration, 10th in the world for arts and humanities, 13th in the world for archaeology, and 14th in the world for history. Students entering ANU in 2013 had a median Australian tertiary admission rank of 93, the equal highest among Australian universities. Organizations The Centre for Moral, Social and Political Theory is an organisation at Australian National University whose purpose is to "...become a world-leading forum for exposition and analysis of the evolution, structure, and implications of our moral, social and political life." Its president is Nicholas Southwood and key people include Seth Lazar, Jeff Brennan, Bob Gooden, Frank Jackson, Philip Pettit and Michael Smith. <laughs> <laughs> student life 
Australian National University Students Association is the Students' Union of the Australian National University and represents undergraduate student, while the Postgraduate and Research Students Association represents postgraduates. The Australian National University Union manages catering and retail outlets and function amenities on behalf of all students. Warranty. Warrani is the student newspaper of the Australian National University. Warrani is published fortnightly in full-colour tabloid format, and features broad coverage of university and local news, opinion, features, arts and culture, sports, and leisure. Topic notable alumni and faculty Notable past faculty include Mark Oliphant, Keith Hancock, Manning Clark, Derek Freeman, H. C. Coombs, John Crawford, Hedley Bull, Frank Fenner, C. P. Fitzgerald, Pierre Rickmans, A. L. Basham. Nobel Prizes have been awarded to former ANU Chancellor Howard Florey and faculty members John Eccles, John Harshani, Rolf M. Zinkernagel, Peter Doherty and Brian Schmidt. Notable present scholars include Hilary Charlesworth, Ian McAllister, Hugh White, Warwick McKibben, Keith Dowding, Amin Sakel, and Jeremy Shermer. A new alumni are often visible in government. Bob Hawke and Kevin Rudd, former Australian Prime Ministers, attended the university, as did senior politicians Barry O'Farrell, Nick Minchin, Kim Beasley Sr., Peter Garrett, Craig Emerson, Stephen Conroy, Gary Gray, Warren Snowden, Joe Ludwig and Catherine King and Michael Keenan. ANU has produced 30 current Australian ambassadors and more than a dozen current heads of Australian public service departments, including Prime Minister and Cabinet Secretary Michael Thalley, Treasury Secretary Martin Parkinson, Finance Secretary Jane Halton, Education Secretary Lisa Paul, Agriculture Secretary Paul Grimes, Attorney General's Secretary Chris Moritis, Environment Secretary Gordon De Brower, Employment Secretary Renee Leon, Social Services Secretary Finn Pratt, Industry Secretary Glenn Beauchamp, ASIS Director General Nick Warner and ACCC Chairman Rod Sims. Graduates also include Prime Minister of the Solomon Islands Gordon Darcy Lilo, Foreign Minister of Mongolia since 2017 Damden Sogbater, former Indonesian Foreign Minister Marty Natalagawa, former Governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Don Brash, former British Cabinet Minister Patricia Hewitt and former U.S. Ambassador to Israel Martin Indyk. Other notable alumni include High Court of Australia Judges Stephen Gagler and Geoffrey Nettle, Chief Federal Magistrate John Pascoe, Human Rights Lawyer Jennifer Robinson, Kellogg's CEO John Bryant, former Singapore Airlines CEO Chung Chung Kong, Indiana University President Michael McCrabby, University of Melbourne Vice Chancellors Alan Gilbert and Glyn Davis, Mathematician John H. Coates, Computer Programmer Andrew Trigel, Public Intellectual Clive Hamilton, Psychologist and Journalist Bettina Arndt, and economists John Diebel, Ross Garnott, Peter Drysdale and John Quiggin. Affiliations ANU is a member of the Group of Eight, Association of Pacific Rim Universities and the International Alliance of Research Universities. ANU participates in the U.S. Financial Direct Loan Program. The R. G. Menzies Scholarship to Harvard University is awarded annually to at least one talented Australian who has gained admission to a Harvard graduate school. ANU and University of Melbourne are the only two Australian partner universities of Yale University's Fox Fellowship Program. See also List of universities in Australia Australian National University Boat Club